I'm starting this picture just by going straight in with um, some dark tones into the end of the street where it's more shadowy. Uh, I'm not bothering with the drawing. It's only a small canvas and it's a fairly simple composition. So now I just start getting these uh, a little bit warmer, as you can see there, and cooler. Some yellower and redder. Just getting a variety of dark tones in there, those buildings that are all in shadow. And then gradually work those towards the foreground. Here you can see violet colours going in. I'm never sure at the start of a picture exactly what the colour scheme will be or how the colours will play together. I just represent what I see in front of myself as, as best as I can and uh, as closely and as accurately as I can. And then gradually that forms its own colour scheme, which uh, then sometimes I push a little bit to to obviously give some artistic play to. Now I'm going into the sky and getting some light tones in. The canvas itself has got a warm ground on it, very grey and warm, so that these, uh, as soon as I put these slightly darker tones and slightly lighter tones on, immediately there's some red, they register. Now I'll put this very pink grey light on the ground, that's where the sun is hitting and we've got this big diagonal shadow coming towards us. This is late afternoon, the sun is quite low and uh, sort of angled up the street towards me. I've got about an hour to do this before it changes a lot, in fact even a little bit less. So just whacking on these colours very very quickly, big brush. These are the pink warm colours now on the building and already you can see straight away the lighting of the picture from that. And these tones aren't uh, either as light as I'll go or as dark as I'll go. I like to reserve, I don't push them as hard as I can, I like to reserve um, some room to go even lighter and darker so that I can accent and push the picture towards the end a little bit. Now, of course, there's always people walking up and down this street, so I'm walk. I'm just uh, catch these people walking towards me, and all I'm bothered about is getting their position and size. So at least they're in proportion. And now I've got the angle of the shadow, which because it's moving I want to get quite accurately. And then as people are walking around I take um, information off various people I see and, and just build those people up and other people around them however I want them. Now with the basics in, I'm just starting to look at details. So colours of shutters which obviously are, you're not painting the local colour of the shutter, the, you know, the, tin of, the colour of the tin of paint that was used on it. You're painting the effect of the colour that you see, and that depends on the light that's bouncing around, whether it's in sunlight or shadow, and other colour relationships. There you can see the gallery behind me. This is, I'm painting just outside my gallery, looking down the street. So putting these details on just means um, looking for how much to put in just to suggest various um, key details without getting too uh, much into that. And also not to put too many sharp edges on it. It has to be left reasonably soft in some places, otherwise it's too busy for the eye. So as I'm putting them on, you can see there's a few sharp edges around there and a lot of soft edges. It's not highly defined. And I keep building that up. Now with those basic tones in, I'm just going round 
here you see I'm pushing the dark darker there for that sign because it's in the foreground and, and contrast is higher in the foreground. So that dark is darker than, for example, the, sh the window on that back wall in the distance where it's an open window and dark inside. Um, and then push the sky a little bit, just get a bit more colour in there and a little bit more light. Gradually pushing everything a bit darker and a bit more colour, a bit more light. And sometimes the opposite, sometimes softening down. But basically I tend towards to, to go towards pushing uh, and pulling colours out, starting from a very neutral colour and tone base and gradually pushing things stronger and stronger. We're very close to the end here. You'll see on the people that obviously they're the focus of the picture, but I don't want them to be jumping out of the picture, so I've put soft highlights on them and a little bit of extra sharp edge here and there, not too much. You'll see the feet just disappear into the shadows. I don't like to draw, I don't like to paint um, strong feet and sharp hands and all those sort of details, but just a few edges to make, pull them out of the background. And um, I try to avoid too many brush strokes which are just done for effect. I like to keep it reasonably harmon harmonized and um, gentle. Um, so there we are, there's the finished picture.